Hello, one and all. How you doing? I am Dave, your one mechanic. And uh, on this video is actually going to be about a tester. Uh, this video, or part of this video, was originally done with the Text Talking Shop group. Um, we all had a tool choice to help us diagnose electrical issues. So everybody picked something and uh, I picked um, a little light tester. And it's such a good video, so like that, I thought I'd also post it here on uh, my page. Since not everybody here follows the TTS webpage. Um, is if you don't, please think about it. Text Talking Shop. They also have a, an Instagram page. Um, good group. Wide, wide variety of mechanics in the group. Um, so check it out, and I hope you check out this series um, of everybody's electronic devices. There's ten people. And uh, nuts and bolts of tone was first. I think I'm second, so I'm not sure. But you also have um, a bunch of other people doing. Supposed to be one video dropping per day, so you'll get a wide selection. All right, here you go. Hope you enjoy it. Hello everybody, Dave here, One Mechanic, and today I'm going to show you real quick one of my favorite tools from Snap-on. I know somebody else makes it, I don't know who, but it's a simple tester and it's a go, no go, testing, nothing fancy, and uh, I want to show you how it works. Be right back. So in order to make this work, you have to touch part of the metal because you're actually the ground. Touching the metal. So, if you can see, there's a light in there. And by the audio beep, you can tell if this is working or not. I, I use it exactly for this a lot of times. Um, I have guys hook up the trailer say the lights on their trailers don't work. Well, you know the lights on the truck work, but is it the plug? And uh, test the circuits real quick. If this is good, then you know you can focus on your trailer. If it's not good, then you know you gotta look at this side of the truck um, for an issue. But I just wanted to show you the little snap-on tester. Great item. A quick no go <laughs> go no go test. This is also great for uh, fuses because uh, you can check both sides of the fuses, see if there's power. Of course, if you only have power on one side of the fuse, you know the fuse is blown. It's also really good for. That. Here's another reason why I like this tool. I'm sure you guys have seen these. They're on most commercial vehicles. Marker light. Two little prongs. This is a newer style because it's LED. And say that this wasn't working. Well, before you go ahead and replace this, you need to check for power. And that is where this tool comes in great. Just go to the positive side. There you go. Now remember, you gotta touch ground to make it work. 
but you know there's power there and on the older style plugs if you can touch the ground on it once I can't get to it well you can also touch the ground on it too as you can see you can't see the ground on this one it's uh in there but if you could touch the ground and then touch the positive oh. no well on the older style where the prongs stick out further you can also check your ground that way too like i said just a quick yes or no easy diagnostic it's better to do this than to replace these because these get kind of expensive so another good use for my tool what do you think huh um great tool love the tool uh, i'm glad i was able to find it on amazon uh, i knew somebody else made it for cheaper and I bought off the Snap-on truck for a little bit more. Um, I think it was a hundred, like a hundred bucks or around hundred dollars on the Snap-on truck. Um, again, it's a great tool. And I also want to show you this tool. So we get the glare off of it. So it's a probe and ground nice heavy duty clip so as you see 3 to 48 volts now this came off Amazon it was 20 or 25 dollars and there when there's power, this lights up blue, sort of a bluish color, and the screen will tell you how many volts you have. Um, of course, you have to hook up your ground to do that. There's no audible tone to it whatsoever, but for another great tool, this, I would suggest this. Um, because we work on some off-road equipment, which is 24 volts uh, normally. Um, sometimes you get into some um, foreign equipment that we rent here and there, and the voltage could be different on that too. Um, of course, because there is a ground, you got to be careful what you're probing to so you don't. Um, short out your ECU or body control module or anything like that. So you, you gotta be careful. But again, for a quick test, do you want to check voltage and how much voltage? Great tool, especially for 20 bucks. Super long line. Heavy duty, let's see if I get this out. see in there but nice heavy duty there you go heavy clamp and what is nice about this is that if it stops working you can buy the guts of this as a module off Amazon and I believe it's twelve dollars nine or twelve dollars so you don't have to buy a whole new one. You can buy just that uh, middle part, the electronic part. There you go. So I hope you like the Snap-on Tester. Um, it's a tool I use all the time. Uh, this tool I use quite a bit in uh, road calls and services. Um, just depending on what I'm doing. And remember, none of these replace 
a multimeter. Certain situations though, you don't need a multimeter. You just need a yes or no answer. And these two products are perfect for that. Again, uh, the snap-on, because there's really no ground to it, you're pretty safe in probing stuff. It's hard to, to blow out an ECM or anything like that unless you touch it to something else uh, at the same time. Uh, however, this being ground, you could potentially short out something. So you want to be careful of that. But if you're just checking fuses or trailer plugs or light plugs or even run across the battery for battery voltage, or stick it to the back of an alternator for alternator voltage, um, or stick it on a starter when you're starting it to see what the voltage is or what the voltage is going to the starter. There's many uses for it and that way you don't have to drag out you know, your whole multimeter, all your leads and all that stuff like that. Um, hope this helps. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please remember to subscribe, hit that bell for future updates and uh, notice f notifications on live streams and stuff like that. And I I'll put a link to this. Uh, I'll try to put a link below um, or maybe I'll put a card right here to it on Amazon. So you guys can actually see it and get a part number for it and stuff like that. All right. Hope you guys are all well and happy. Take care. Ciao. Bye-bye.